Hey there, Dolphin Doug. I'm gonna tell you five things you should think about or you should know that you probably don't about Juno before you get up here. First of all, downtown Juno, where the cruise ships come in, is wonderfully walkable. Of all the communities I know in the world, it is one of the most friendly. It's a small little place surrounded by absolutely spectacular beauty. You can, if you choose, spend a good couple of hours just enjoying the walk around. Second, in that, Juno is full of little gems. I am trying as I go around to take, do videos beside some of my precious gems. Uh, I don't really like doing them around other people, so I've just done another video right here. This is one of those precious gems. This is the end of Photo Point Trail. It's a quarter mile that way to a bus parking lot. You've got the Mendenhall Glacier, you've got Nugget Falls, but to see this is point number three. To see the rest of Juneau, other than downtown Juneau, places like this, you either need a car or to take a tour. There are plenty of tours to take. They do go to a lot of the big highlights. There are a tremendous number of small highlights that you might very much appreciate as well if you had the ability to go there. Even better, get to know somebody from Juneau and maybe they'll drive you around. So the fourth thing you need to know about Juneau <clears throat> is that you're coming up here to take photos, I'm sure you're going to want to take something back with you. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but the sun is setting now, and it's about 2.30 in the afternoon in December. But even in the middle of the summer, the photo, the scenery is spectacular, but the photos are going to be crummy. Those world-class National Geographic photos that you've seen, oh, they're real. But the chance of you coming in on that day and being in the right place at the right time is real small. So take all the pictures, just don't expect them to be spectacular. In your eyes, you're going to have seen them. You're going to look at the photos and say, oh my gosh, these are wonderful. But just like a lot of other photos that you might have seen, if you try to show them to other people, they're not gonna get quite the same appreciation. Same is true for videos. To just enjoy yourself, wonderful, and don't expect the, the photos to be world-class. <clears throat> the last thing you need to know, I can't even remember what it is. Oh. That's what it was. I'm in the tourism business, but I'm only a small one out of 32,000 people that live here. Juno is not really a tourist town. When you come in downtown, you're gonna see all those cruise ships and literally we can get half the population of town coming in in one day on cruise ships, but only 15% of Juno is in tourism. So if you're walking around downtown, if you go any place, particularly away from where the tours take you, you're gonna find locals. And maybe you haven't looked at it this way, but to a local, you guys as tourists are just as interesting to them as you might be interested in the other way. So feel free to talk to somebody. Ask them what they like about Juno. Ask them for a hidden gem. Ask them for their story. It's all here. If you get somebody who's in the tourism business, they'll tell you something that's probably a little bit canned. I've got dozens of canned stories that I can tell you about all sorts of different things. You might enjoy them and I appreciate that. And if, if you do, if you talk to somebody else, they may have never had that question asked of them before. And so you knows what you're gonna get out of that. So that's what I'm gonna suggest to you. The real, true, hidden gem of Alaska are the people. So come on up here, have a good time, and maybe, just maybe, you can be a neighbor.